Hey, hello everyone. My name is Dinesh Krishnan. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the asset class in JUnit framework, right? So to do that, you know, we already have a Maven project with us, you know, which is have the JUnit uh, dependency in the Maven project actually. So you can find what, you know, source folder here under the source folder in the main folder. So you can find what, you know, Java folder. I'm going to simply create what, you know, new package. I'm going to create the package called com dot Dinesh Krish. Okay, that is my package name. Okay, now you can see that one package is created. Inside this package, I'm going to introduce the class called arithmetic. So since it's arithmetic class, obviously I'm going to you know perform what you know simple arithmetic operation. So one operation which I want to perform as of now is actually what you know addition. So public integer add. So I have a method called what you know add method which taking what you know two integer argument okay so uh, what I'm gonna do I'm going to return okay a plus b okay as an integer value so the very straightforward method we have a method called add which takes what in two integer arguments literally what you know simple addition operation then return the output you know since it's an integer right so let's see how to test this particular method okay so we'll write a test case in order to test this method okay so to do that you know you can find in the maven project itself you can find the other folder called what you know test folder go to the test folder here you can find the java folder here so you can introduce another package if you want so i'm going to create the package called com dot dinesh krish dot i'm going to call this package actually what you know test my all the test cases class going to be in this package so i'm going to introduce the new class called arithmetic test okay so arithmetic test that is a class I'm gonna create so the class is actually created so inside the arithmetic test so we have only one method right we have only one method called add method I'm going to write a test case in order to test this method is working fine or not right in my inside my arithmetic test class so I'm gonna introduce a method called public void add test okay so now I'm going to annotate this particular add method actually add test method actually what you know test method because this is my test case so now what I'm going to do I'm simply going to create an instance of you know arithmetic object in order to access what the add method so arithmetic arithmetic equal to new arithmetic okay the object is actually created now we can call that add method using this instance right so i'm going to call this method called add method that actually takes what you know two argument so integer a and integer b i'm going to pass 10 comma 20 okay so obviously that is going to perform the addition operation okay so it's going to return some integer right i'm going to store that integer value in the integer variable called result so now you can see that so we call this method so that is going to return what the uh, uh, summation value of these two number right so obviously the value is going to be what you know 10 plus 20 30 so I'm going to use what you know asset class okay you can use the class called asset class you can see that asset class from org.junit uh, package okay once the asset class is actually imported just simply do what you know dot now you can see all the available options in the asset class you know you can see there are a lot of static methods available you know such as equals in order to perform you know equals method you can do what you know equals then if you have two array if you want to do what you know asset equals on top of the array you can use what you know array equals you have asset false not equals not null not same you know you you have lot of method as part of this example i'm going to use this method asset equals which takes uh, object expected comma object actual as an argument right so let me call this method okay if you look at it so this is our actual output right you know this actual output is going to be whatever you know since we are passing 10 and 20 it's going to be what you know 30 right we have to pass the expected so i'm going to pass my expectation is actually what you know 30 and then i'm going to pass what you know the actual result right so let me quickly run this test case we'll see what is going to happen so here we go our test case actually what you know ran successfully and then 
because the, the expected value and then actual value both are equals that's what you know it's not complaining any error right so now what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to modify the expected value as 40 it's very clear that the actual result is going to be 30 and then but we are expecting it to be as for you know 40 so literally it's going to what you know complain Let, let's see whether it's complaining or not okay quickly run this example again let's see what's going to happen here we go now it says what you know your test case actually what you know failed that means what your asset actually failed so what if you if you scroll a little bit up you know you can see that we got an assertion error, java.lang assertion error. So the expected value is 40, but actual result that we got to actually what you know, is a 30. So now you actually what you know, got a clear idea how to use assert as part of your JUnit framework. Thanks for watching.